Day slavery, also known as human trafficking, is an international problem even here in the Low Country, and it's a multi billion dollar criminal industry that denies freedom to 20.9 million people around the world. Jennifer Williams and Clarissa Whaley here to tell us a little bit about this special vigil that you guys have coming up this Saturday. So, t ladies, tell me about this vigil planned. Oh, we have uh, three com uh, three committees going to be with them from the uh, Indigenous Women's Alliance, South Carolina. We're a subcommittee of the South Carolina Indian Fair Commission. Um, and and we join alliance with the YWCA of Charleston and the Gamma Xi Omega chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. Um, three very um, powerful women's organization who really focuses social justice, human rights in so many ways. Uh, under Alpha Kappa Alpha, uh, the Gamma Xi Omega chapter, we work really hard to be leaders in our community, not only in education, financial resourcing, but social justice and human rights. So this is one that's very important to us to bring awareness to um, through this vigil, um, through, the, through the terrible, horrific um, circumstances of uh, missing and murdered indigenous women. So such an important topic, uh, something that we all should be aware of. So how can folks uh, get involved with you guys and come out to the vigil to, to help support you guys? Well, it's at the uh, YWCA, um, which is really important for anyone to come out, uh, women, men, um, if you're direct or, or indirectly affected by human trafficking. But as women, we should get together and support each other. And I'm hoping this to spread just as much as like a women's march and for us all to get together and support each other and keep in mind that you know 84 percent of um, native women have experienced some kind of violence wow. in their life so it's really important just as all of us as women to get together get with your group get with the anybody in charleston to be able to get together and help stop violence and actually educate people what's going on so what can people expect if they come out to the vigil on saturday well they can expect they can expect uh, a alliance together uh, women uh, men children all speaking to this this cause uh, we want to make an impact. We want to draw awareness to this. Awareness makes changes happen. And so that's what our goal is. And I know that, uh, Jennifer, there will be some information available. Yeah, uh, we're going to have um, our chairman, uh, Kathleen Hayes, is going to be doing a speech. There's going to be many speeches, so there's going to be more facts about what people can learn, how they can get involved. Sure. The main thing is just coming out, whether you're native or not, or you know, just a woman, we're here to support each other, and it's important for all of us to get out to just kind of the, locally, start locally, and then be able to branch out nationally to get this across, whether it be victims in any way. So it's really important. Um, you can uh, find it on Facebook, uh, okay. the vigil. The, um, go ahead and add on um, this candlelight visual for victims of human trafficking, Charleston, and it's at the YWCA, and I think it's really important for everyone to come out just to see how they can get involved. It starts really small, but we can go real big if we get a bunch of people involved sure. and like-minded people to care about something that's very important. Well, sounds like a great opportunity yes. for come out for people to come out and honor those victims as well as learn a lot more about human a trafficking. Thank you so much, yes. ladies, for being oh, with us. Thank you. you. We appreciate it. We'll